Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is another A-level tricky question. This is from a Madass Maths paper. I'll leave the link in the description. Please do like the video if you find it useful. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, the question says we have a curve with this equation, x greater than zero, and it says the equation of the tangent to c at the point where x equals a is 4y is equal to bx minus a, where a and b are non-zero constants, determine the exact value of a. So the first thing I can see uh, that jumps out is the equation of a tangent. And to work out the equation of a tangent, we first need to find the gradient, which means we're going to need to differentiate this function. This function is a product, has two parts to it. It has x multiplied by uh, the square root of ln x. So we need to split it up and use the product rule in order to differentiate. So first off, I say that u is equal to x and v is equal to ln x to the power of a half, which is the same as uh, square root of ln x. I differentiate each part, so the derivative of u, in this case, with respect to x, would just be 1. And then the derivative of v, a bit trickier, but if I've got a bracket like this, I can bring the power down to times by the coefficient. So I get a half right there. Next, I can keep inside the bracket exactly the same, and I drop the power down by 1. And then I multiply by the derivative of the bracket which in this case is uh, the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So that's the shorthand way of doing the chain rule. And then my product will be, my product rule will be uh, these two multiplied together, which gives me, well, the x and the 1 over x will cancel. So I just have a half of ln x to the negative one half plus these two multiply together and that will just be one lot of ln x to the half. Now it's asked me to work out the tangent at the point x equals a so I need to find the gradient at x equals a. So dy by dx at x equals a is, we'll just sub a in for x into the gradient function, so I get a half ln of a to the minus a half plus ln of a to the half. Okay, and in order for me to work out a tangent, I need not only the gradient, but I also need an xy point. Um, I have an x point, so I need to find its corresponding y value. So I'll do that by subbing that into the y equation. So y at x equals a is sub in a for x. So I get a open brackets ln of a and that is the square root. So that's the power of a half as well. Okay, next step is to use my equation of a straight line, which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. I'm going to sub in my gradient and I'm going to sub in my xy point. So my uh, y value, which we worked out, was a ln a to the half. My gradient, it's pretty messy, but it was a half ln a to the minus a half plus ln a to the half. And then I need to multiply that by, so I'm going to have to have that all in brackets like this. And I'm going to multiply that by x minus the x coordinate, which is just a. Okay, great. So my first thought is this is very messy and what I would like to do is to multiply uh, through completely by ln a to the power of a half. I think that's going to tidy things up massively. So let's do that. Let's multiply through by that. 
that's going to give me y of ln a to the half. Um, this next term, the ln a to the half times ln a to the half is just going to give me ln a to the 1, so it's just ln a. So this is minus a ln a. And then I will just multiply this ln a to the half by this purple bracket here, which will be enough to do the right-hand side. So multiplying through is going to give me, in this first term, it's just going to be a half... And then ln a to the minus a half times ln a to the half is just ln a to the zero, which is just a one. So it's just a half. And then here we have plus, um, and the ln a to the half times ln a to the half is just a ln a. Great. And let's bracket that up and then multiply that through by x minus a. We don't need to times it through by the x minus a because we've already multiplied that term through by multiplying through by that purple bracket. Okay. And next we would multiply out these brackets. So this side will stay the same for now. And here we'll get a half x and uh, minus a half a and plus x ln a and minus a ln a. We could do some cancelling. We can cancel these from both sides. And then we can go and look at our um, uh, what the form that we, we want it in. Uh, so that's 4y. So we've been asked to get it in 4y is equal to bx minus a single a. Um, and what I can notice is that on this side we do have minus a half a. So let's multiply the whole equation by 2. So that will give me this is equal to um, an x and plus 2x ln a and then minus a. So now we're getting very close to being able to compare coefficients. In fact, we can now compare coefficients. So if we look at what's multiplied by the y, um, we've got a 2 and we've got a ln a to the half. So therefore, 4 must equal 2 ln a um, uh, to the half, like that. And then if we look at the b as well, we have b must be equal to, in brackets, if I take out an x, 1 plus 2 ln a. Okay, so we can solve these two equations to find um, a and b. So we can... Um, uh, divide both sides by 2 first, and then we can square both sides, and then we can take um, e as the base of both sides uh, to get a. Great. And then over here, we can say that b is equal to 1 plus 2 lots of ln e to the 4, so therefore b is equal to 1 plus, um, that's at 8, so b is equal to 9. And there we have it, our final answers. Wow, what a question. These papers are amazing. They're really tricky, really challenging, really good practice for your A-levels. If you find it useful, please do subscribe to the channel. Please do like the video. And um, if this gets enough likes, then I will try and do a whole Madass paper um, and try and do as many as I can before the uh, pure exam, which is coming up very soon. Bye for now.